In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how BuddyPress groups work, how to create them, how members can interact with them, interact with each other if they're in or outside of those groups. And this is part of the BuddyPress playlist. Links to the full playlist are in the description down below, so check those out after this video. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and check out these BuddyPress groups. I'll see you there. So if we head over to groups here, also actually one last thing about activity, you as the admin can go to this activity tab and you can supervise all the activity in here. So if someone's trolling your forum or trolling your social network, you can mark the comments as spam, you can delete their user account, you can, you can do all kinds of stuff in here as the admin where you can review everything, which is pretty handy. Under groups, we can create a group. WordPress. This is a WP group. Click on create group and continue. Then we have privacy settings. Is this group public? Is it private? Is it hidden? Which members of this group are allowed to invite others? So maybe all members can invite people, maybe only the admin and the mods can, only group admins can. Set the settings how you prefer them, and click on next. We see the group actually already appeared on the right hand side here with a three person avatar, which we can update on this page where we are now. Upload a photo for the group if we want to. Then we upload a cover image here. I'm gonna skip both those steps. Then we can invite people. I'm just gonna invite George, click on finish. Now we have a new group with a list of admins. Currently, just I am the admin, and we have one member, which is George. We can send more invites. We can manage the members in the group. If we go back to George's profile over here and go to his notifications, we see we've been invited to the group WordPress. Let's click on this message to see what it says. This is the WP group, which was the description that we entered. George can click on accept to accept the invitation or reject to reject. I'm gonna accept it for him. And now, group invite accepted. Under groups, I now have a one to list all of the groups that I have. Actually, I'm already there on the memberships tab here. This is where the groups are. We can leave the group if we want to. We can click on this WordPress link here to discuss in the group. So what's new in WordPress? This is the group name. So if I called the group Dragon's Den, it would say what's new in Dragon's Den. Now, as we saw earlier in the settings, we're allowed to set who's allowed to invite users, anybody, admins and mods, or just admins. The importance of this is that if you have a large site with a lot of groups, you as one person or a small team, it becomes hard to handle all this stuff. So quite often if you find people who are very active and responsible using your site all the time, and you ask them whether they wanna be a moderator. And if they say yes, let's say George wants to be a moderator, we go back into our admin area, our, our dashboard, WordPress dashboard, and then we click on users, all users, go and look for George. Then we're gonna click on edit under George's name and we're gonna find the role drop down, and we're gonna change it to moderator. Go to the bottom and update user. And now George is a moderator. Now in here, he might not show up. I'm just gonna refresh. This says group admins, it doesn't say group admins and mods. So he might not, he doesn't show up here. So I'm still the admin, but now George is a moderator of the group and he may have received a message as well. Let's, let's see if he did. No, he didn't receive a message, but he's a moderator, which means he can moderate comments. He can stop trolling. He can stop flaming. He can invite users to groups that only mods and mints can invite users to. So it allows you to hand off some of the group management responsibility to people who use your site a lot and who you know to be responsible. So that's how easy it is to work with BuddyPress groups. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.